U.S. only. All supplies last. Johnny's House on XL 106.7. Six thirty six, Orlando's number one hit music station is XL one oh six seven, throwing it back twenty five years. We got a big day today, gonna go into our performance studio at eleven and who knows what's gonna happen after that. Concert tonight, then after the concert, an after party at Splitsville. Even though we're celebrating uh, 25 years, um, real quick, go ahead and do the weather. Okay, I'm just rolling uh, today. Yeah, it's going to be around 86 <laughs> today, nice and warm. All right, even though we're celebrating 25 years, our commitment to the community does not stop. I will be late uh, at the uh, celebration tonight because I, I'm, I'm going to stop off somewhere. Uh, someone want to donate a check to the Baby DJ Fund, and I want to be there to collect it, so right. I'll be there later on. It's important that we get together and help out our community, and we can't do it without your help. Our Baby DJ Warehouse will be open um, this weekend. If you want to drop off toys that you've collected, I think we have enough to last through maybe Saturday. So we're hoping that uh, donations that you've collected, you can bring them in today and bring some in over the weekend so we can help the families that are coming in on Sunday also. And we'd like to let you know exactly where your your donations are going, your toys. If you want to know how you can help and get involved, babydj.org. We went through all the letters, every single one of them, and we, we found ones that touched us personally. And we wanted to call them on the air let them know exactly that we want to help them. We know their struggles. And you listening know exactly where your donations are going and maybe give you the incentive to help us help our community. Uh, this I'm a single uh, homeless mother. Uh, I have three girls, and that is bouncing from place to place uh, with my children. I got out of a very abusive relationship where I almost lost my life, and the good Lord has given me and my girls a second chance of life and finally helped me out of that situation. Though I'm still in a bind being homeless and where I'm struggling to find a job, also in need of trying to get help for my children so if I get a job, I'm able to keep it. It kills me every day knowing that I'm not doing everything, that I'm doing everything in my powers to give my girls a good life. I really just want them to be able to wake up on Christmas morning with a smile on their face. Because over the years, there haven't been much to enjoy over the holiday. Due to the relationship I was in with their father, he was very abusive, addicted to drugs, where there wasn't a possibility to even enjoy anything. I now believe there just might be a chance that they may happen. Now that I'm able to get away from that situation. This is the reason I'm writing this letter to you, asking you to please, please help me and my girls to at least have a Christmas this year. Let them get that smile on their, fa- on their face they haven't been able to have in years. We would greatly appreciate it very, very much. I wouldn't be able to explain in words how thankful I would be to see them happy and excited on that beautiful morning. Because honestly, without any any help from you, my girls would not have a Christmas. Because even though I'm doing everything I can, there'll be no way I can even get them anything, let alone a tree, decoration. So please, please help me and my family. Thank you, Deanne. So we're going to call her up and we're going we're gonna to let her know they're going to be smiling Christmas morning. Is this Deanna? Yes. Uh, this is Johnny Magic from XL 1067, our baby DJ program. Hey. We got your email and we want to help you out with our baby DJ program. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, you're a homeless single mom of three and you left an abusive relationship. You're a hero. You are a hero to us. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> because you had to get up and do what you had to do for those kids, those three girls, and we want to make sure that you and your family are taken care of for Christmas. Can we do that for you? Yes, thank you so much. All right. Brian, tell them what we got. Get you started with $100 in Publix gift cards so you can go grocery shopping for the holidays. Oh, my God. We have $100 in cash, and you can use that for whatever you might need around the house. Oh. We got four tickets to the Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey Presents Legends oh so you can go God. out and have a day at the circus. Uh, we have a holiday gift from the Crayola Experience, including tickets, so you can take the family out for that. We got a Christmas tree from Cyril and Sons Tree Lots to get you nice and decorated for the holidays. And then grab the girls, find out what they want, get their list together, and come down to the Baby DJ Toy Warehouse, and you can pick out whatever they want, so you can wrap it up and put it under the tree for Christmas morning. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much. You know, and it said that all you want is the smile on Christmas Day that they haven't been able to have in years. Well, I think they're going to be smiling. (laughs) Yes, thank you so much. You know, we have so many people in the community that are dropping off toys and and bringing in toys and companies giving us stuff, but we have some sponsors that want to get involved and help mothers like you that are fighting really hard to take care of their kids. I have no idea how much this means to me. 
Oh, of course. We do have to thank our sponsors, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, Christmas at Gaylord Palms, featuring Ice, Everest University, Hair Cuttery, and Tuffy Tire and Auto Service Center. Thank you. Thank everybody. I'm just so I'm so thankful that like that I even got to just to have to see my kids smile. Like, it means the world to me. Y'all don't even know. Oh, they're going to be smiling. And again, you are a hero. You're doing what you have to do to take care of your girls. And to me, that makes it special. And I'm so happy that we found you and were able to take care of your family. I'm so thankful, too. I appreciate it so much. Like, oh, God, I can't even, I can't even explain the words. It's a it, live stream, but that's what it is. It's okay, but let's keep that smile going, okay? Oh, yes, most definitely. All right, Merry Christmas to Deanna. Thank you. Making sure Santa hits every home this Christmas. XL 1067's Baby DJ. From Universal Pictures. You've been divorced two years. You been doing anything fun? I'm real good. I've been teaching myself. Breakfast at McDonald's. I'm loving it. <laughs> WXXL HD1 to Varys Orlando. From the Planet Fitness Studio, home of the Judgment Free Zone. <laughs> this was Tori Kelly on Johnny's House. Maybe we both know it should have been us. Oh. Not a bad voice, right? And she's never played a full concert in Orlando. Until What's up, Orlando? Tori Kelly here. I heard there was a big party for XL. You know I wouldn't miss it for the world. See Tori Kelly's first Orlando concert. I'll be sharing the stage with some old friends and new ones. With Walk the Moon and Shaggy. Shaggy. December 17th at House of Blues. For XL 1067's Excellent Christmas. Brought to you by City Kia of Greater Orlando. Of course we want you there. You can buy the tickets. At XL1067.com. Orlando's number one hit music station. Six fifty three, Orlando's number one hit music station. It's XL one oh six seven in Johnny's house. Nice and hot today with a high around eighty six with a nice breeze. Stand the monkey boys here, boy. Everybody's gonna be rolling up in here. How you feel? You live in Charlotte now, right? Yeah, I live in your hometown. In my hometown. I used okay. to think you lived in South Carolina. And I used to hate remember, that. Too. I used to do it all the time. <laughs> and he knew it made me mad. Stan 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 rem- reminded me of something that when he was here, I was angry. Mm-hmm. I was I don't know why I was so mad. I yelled at everybody. You you hadn't found true love yet. Is that what it was? Yeah. I've been mad for a long time. You look really now. happy now. Oh yeah. I'm Man, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a house cat. <laughs> I see all the pictures that you're sleeping on Facebook. <laughs> That's his life now. Always asleep. In his pajama jeans. I'm, I'm, I'm always, <laughs> He's I exhausted do. from all that yelling. I'm telling you, man, I'll sleep. I, y'all know, man, I've been doing radio this many years. I can go to sleep at any place at any time. If y'all turn the lights off right now and turn the music down, I can fall asleep right here in this corner with I, no problem whatsoever. I, I took a morning job in Atlanta, and I was training for a marathon. I ran my first marathon. Uh, marathon, marathon? Yeah, like I went 20, 26 miles. Goodness. And I would leave work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon after being awake from 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh-huh. I would drive to the location because there was like an hour window, and uh-huh. I would sleep in my car on the side of the road. Not a problem. Because I needed it to oh, yeah. to do a three-mile hike up up a mountain with a backpack on to train for my marathon. And Farmer Bill's back. Don't you have a job? <laughs> did, did he ever leave? I, I just work three days a week. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm sure you can work more if you made yourself available. <laughs> you need to time for Bill. <laughs> you need a doctor or something. I'm like, three days on, four days off. Doctor's assistant. <laughs> so you don't have a, okay, you work three days. You got a part-time job or anything? Yeah, I help out a, a restaurant local, you know, do they, the guy, Tilly. Do, do they pay you? Tilly's Tavern. No, stop yeah. dropping stuff oh, on the air. Stop it. Throw it out oh. there. What? Stop hey, dropping things on it's, the air. It's a, it's a baby DJ uh, drop-off spot. So. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, What's up, man? Well I, done, Sarah. I like what you did there. You <laughs> have learned something in your time here. Exactly. Uh-huh. We collect toys for baby DJ. I don't know if I can handle all these people coming in here today. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a mess. Yeah, it, it is it. totally going to be a mess. ready to scream? What's that? Yeah, I'm ready to scream already. <laughs> like I said, Baby DJ is underway for your drop-off location, or if you're looking for one, go to babydj.org. we got to thank our sponsors, Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Don't forget, uh, Signature Smoothie, the Mango Magic. Chia Banana Boost, the Avocolada. Or the Mango Magic. Brian, stop stop cheering on mine, man. You're, you're, <laughs> Brian picked a bad one that that is not selling as well as the other ones, and now he wants to jump on mine. It's not true. I man, want whatever. you to win because it's the year of Johnny Magic. Everest, yeah, right. Everest University, two campuses is having a uh, competition, uh, Christmas at the Gaylord Palm featuring Ice. Thank you. They got a big box when you go buy your tickets right there. 1-800-411-PAYNE. Tuffy Auto Service Center. Planet Fitness Hair Cuttery. Also, uh, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey. Uh, Publix, of course. And Cyril and Son Tree Lot. We got family starting to come in tomorrow. So if you have toys, 
and you think your box is full and everybody's gone and a lot of people are taking breaks, please bring those toys here. Our warehouse is open until 6 in the afternoon, and we'll be open until, like, what, 3 on Saturday? Yes. 3 on Saturday mm -hmm. and 2 on Sunday. 2 on Sunday. And we need those toys to help the families we've already called and that are coming in. We're going to start the live broadcast here shortly. Uh, Ray, what are you working on in celebrity stuff? Oprah's got a new favorite thing in her life. Does she really? Yes. Can't wait to hear about this. Throwing it back. Here's 50 Cent in the club. Johnny's out. Go, 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 shorty. This is Ariana Grande. I am Ed Sheeran. Hi, it's Taylor Swift. How about some music? It's 7 o'clock on Orlando's number one hit music station. This is XL 1067. It's Johnny's house celebrating 25 years. It's going to be partly cloudy. Uh, some fog this morning. High of 86, 72 as we speak. I'm a celebrity. Celebrity Trash is brought to you by Magic Bail Bonds. They get you out and they get you home. So Oprah has a new thing in her life, and it cost her $14 million. Crazy, a crazy thing about this thing is uh, in the morning, we're, we're prepping for the show. We're pretty much quiet. Ray sees this thing, and what is it again? It is a nice mansion in the mountains. It's like a high-tech ski lodge mansion that is like in Colorado, mm -hmm. just in the middle of the mountains somewhere. And we were all quiet, and I was like, yeah! And we're like, like what? These, these pictures popped up. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. She purchased it for $14 million. It's didn't even touch her bank account. Nope. Didn't, he, didn't even move the decibel over. Mm -hmm. Five no. bedrooms. She had that in her sock. <laughs> she reached down, took out her socks, and here you go. Five bedroom, six bath. She bought it fully uh, furnished. There's a seven-person jacuzzi with a glass, like glass doors and like windows and stuff hanging over the mountain and the forest. Uh, it's suspended, like, there's a fire pit 35 feet above the ground. Uh, there's mm. a 56-foot-long 56, 56 wine cellar that oh. she calls a wine mine with a working track and train with sound effects Stop. that go through this mine. You got so much damn wine in your house, you need a train. <laughs> I heard she has seven drawers that go in every day and get all the wine out. That's what I heard. Listen, if she was hiring for a, a little position to yep. work in that mine, oh I would goodness. be up there in a minute. You know what? Nobody ever hates on Oprah's wealth. No. She, she, you can tell she worked really hard. Well, and she gives back. Yeah. She has a school. She does that. I mean, everybody gets yeah, one. I mean, mm -hmm. she she gives back. So yeah. you can't hate on that. Mm -hmm. And 1,600 bottles she can hold in this wine mine. That, that's all, oh. that's all Ray cares though. about. Oh. Seriously, though. Who, who needs 1,600 bottles of wine? I do. What kind of friends but you got? You never get to them all. Never. I know, but the fact that you can just surround yourself with 1,600 bottles and just invite anybody Look, over. I, ha I have a, uh, a beer refrigerator outside of my house. Mm -hmm. And I, do, I don't drink any beer because I just like it beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I have like three, four bottles of Fireball at all times. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even get through those. I don't need 16,000 bottles of Fireball. But they're nice to look at, right? It's nice, nice to, to know at. that I always have one in mm -hmm. case I need it. See, that's what I want. Uh, so 14 years after Aaliyah passed away, mm -hmm. we're we're going to hear some new music from her. Uh, it's going to be released through Timbaland's new mixtape that he is pimping out. Uh, mm -hmm. King Stay Kings, it's called, and it's dropping dropping on Christmas. Okay. So um, it's going to be a 16-track mixtape along with Young Thug, Rich Homie Kwan. All these people are on this mixtape. But it's pretty cool to see like you oh, know, yeah. music from her to come out. It was just horrible. The, uh, anybody's loss or anybody's death is tragic. But it was horrible for her situation because they, they, they got lazy and tried to just overload a, a, a plane. Yeah. And it couldn't take off. Yep. So uh, I guess people have been begging Timbaland to release some of this music. And he announced it on Instagram saying, attention, people, on Christmas, you'll hear some new music mm -hmm. from Aaliyah. So. Well, he's the executive. If I'm not mistaken, he's the music producer of Empire. Mm, so you, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So you hear his music pretty much every week. Yep. Yeah. And David Letterman, he hosted Late Nights for 33 years. He made a lot of money. And he thought to himself when he quit that he was going going to miss it, have this emotional breakdown and all this stuff. But he was saying that when he watched his replacement step in, he realized this isn't my problem anymore. Ratings yep. aren't my problem anymore. Yep. The yep. emotional train it takes to go up and down, you know, through a show, it, yep. it's not his problem anymore. So he felt much better after oh, yeah. he, he dropped well, the you job. You can tell, it, it, I think uh, I heard it in the trash here, where he was fishing with his kid and he's like, oh, dang. It's 5 o'clock. He didn't think about the show all day or who's going to be on the show. And he said at that point he knew it was time to get out. Yep. He said it was silliness how much he cared about ratings and how important the show was to his life. It was like taking over. Mm -hmm. And then that day when he realized he wasn't thinking about the show, then that's when he was like, all right, it's time for me to dip out of here. Oh, oh, don't sleep. I'm going to ride this thing till the wheels fall off. Yeah. I already said that. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. going to be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> he said now it's something for younger men and women to do and take on, so it's not my problem anymore. He mm -hmm. felt much better after that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yep, and Michael Jackson's Thriller has just been certified 
30 times platinum. Did you hear about this? Uh-uh. Yeah, the Recording Industry Association of America reported it's 30 times platinum now, and it's sold over 30 million copies in the U.S., and it's the first to do so worldwide. Wow. So, yeah, it's sold over 100 million copies together. It was released in 1982, and it spent 37 weeks at number one in the Billboard 200 chart. So. Oh, congratulations. Congrats, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, coming up, we're going to talk to the mayor, Mayor Buddy Dyer. We're going to talk to him. We're celebrating 25 years. He wants to kick everything off. That's happening coming up on Johnny's House.